everyone, this is Amber with Fabricating Fringe and I'm really excited to show you guys something that I have been using on my hair. I know that a lot of you guys have heard about hair fibers before. There's a lot of brands out there. Before I ever got into the world of alternative hair, fibers were a heaven send for me because I was able to wear my own hair you know, kind of camouflage and cover the thinning sparse areas when I happen to be going through a shed. There's these new fibers that I have been trying out and they are non-clumping. With these particular fibers, they do have a sheen, so I think it has a more realistic appearance. There are a couple tricks to keep your fibers on your head and not all over the place, um, but along with that, these fibers really seem to stay put and don't have that powdery finish. They're called thick fiber. So it's it's an easy name to remember because it makes your hair thicker and it's a fiber. So nothing tricky. It's anti-itch, has no wool. This is a plant-based keratin fiber. It's wind and sweat resistant as well. What these fibers do is they just make thin, sparse, balding, thinning, shedding areas appear thicker. The little keratin hair-like fibers cling to your existing hair and build your hair to make it seem to appear thicker. And for those who are in the beginning stages of hair loss, they don't want to wear a hair piece, they don't want to look into a wig, don't want to spend the money on that kind of thing, they can turn to hair fibers and that can really help them out. This is for men, women, men can use it on their beard. It can be for a number of different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how to apply these fibers. You cannot get an applicator with a thick fiber at this moment, but other applicators, um, other brands of applicators will fit onto the top of this bottle. So you could look into that. So I am going to show you how to apply these fibers without an applicator. It's quite easy. You just sprinkle it on. Um, you'll kind of want to tip the bottle so that it will allow the fibers to spill out. First of all, let's look at my hair. Okay, so I have uh, my, my hairline. It goes pretty far back. I've talked about this before on other videos. It goes far back. I like to wear my fibers to kind of um, create more of like an even hairline. Um, you can see all my little baby hairs. Sides are fairly thin and you know, there's just, uh, even my parts look sparse. And then let's take a look at the back. Um, the lighting is kind of crappy. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to figure out a better way of lighting um, this area. But you can see in the back where my crown is, it's fairly thin. Even on the sides, the hair separates and it just, it just looks thin. So I'm just going to kind of mask off where I don't want the fibers to go. See, I need to tip the bottle to allow the fibers to come out. And I don't even know if you guys can see this, but anywhere where I see scalp and I don't want it to show, I'm gonna put the fibers right in those areas. So I'm just shaking that bottle. Uh, sometimes I tap it a little. And then once you're done with that area, if you do need to kind of blend, just tap it. Um, tapping it will just kind of blend it in. But like, see, I just touched those fibers. So I don't have to wash my hands or anything. They're just coming right off my hands. So the mess isn't as extreme. Okay, so if you happen to get a little bit, you know, where you don't want it, just kind of brush it off those areas and then in your hairline, tap it in. And then what you want to do to make sure that those fibers um, bond, you just want those fibers to hold and stay put, you'll just grab some hairspray and give it a good spray. And this will help the fibers stay nice and secure on your head. But look at the difference. So here's this area where I filled in. And then this area where there is none. Quite a, quite a big difference. <laughs> so I'm going to fill in the other side as well.
And I apologize about this lighting. Um, I need to figure out the lighting. I'm not a YouTube guru. And I need some better equipment. So bear with me, guys. I'm, I'm learning. Okay, I'm going to get the side. Like I said, if you get a little bit on your face where you don't want it, it easily brushes off. That's one thing I, it's another, like I said before, that's something that I have really found impressive about this product. So there are my sides. Now I'm going to fill in my front hairline. Fibers flying all over the place. I mean, just getting that front hairline filled in makes a really big difference. My hair needs to be curled. Don't mind that. So, I'm going to show you guys up here. I'm going to fill it in so that my part doesn't seem quite as wide. I still want to have somewhat of a part. I don't want it to be disappeared. Um, I don't want it to vanish. I do have a part. Your hair does part, <laughs> you know. I just don't want my part to seem as wide. So I'm gonna give it a spray to lock in those fibers. Now I'm gonna turn around and show you guys how to cover up the crown. The biggest part with filming while you're trying to apply these is showing like a good view for you while, while still being able to see what I'm doing myself. Okay. It's like, look at that, instant coverage. Filled in the crown, I sprayed it to lock in the fibers. And now I'm going to quickly style my hair. And if I need to fill in any areas after my hair is styled, then I can polish it off with a, with a few more fibers. And that way I can wear my own bio hair, have nice coverage, and I can wash it out at the end of the night. Let's add some curl. Okay, there you have it. I curled my hair. I gave it a little bit of back combing. And I filled in any um, areas, any sparse areas where I wanted to. Um, add a little bit more fibers that I didn't think had enough coverage and then to top it all off I added some um, hairspray to make sure that those fibers had a nice strong hold. Again this is thick fiber. These are keratin hair fibers to help make your thin hair look super thick. Anyway if you guys have any questions, um, any comments, just comment below. You can private message me, you can email me, Anything that you would like, just reach out and I will be happy to answer any questions. Hopefully next time my lighting will be better. So I need I need to improve on that. But even with the crappy lighting, you can kind of see the before and after and the difference that hair fibers can make. They really have helped out so many people. It can really change your view on how you're dealing with your hair loss. And just in, you know, it's like magic sprinkles in a bottle. All right, that is everything. Thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye.